Welcome! Infonomi is a Redmi Pad 2 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this tablet. So when you put it up the first time you should be presented with the same screen that you can see on my end with the Xiaomi Hyper OS and we just get to click on the arrow and then find our desired language from the list of vast amount of languages. Now it already selected a correct one for me which is English so I'm just gonna click on next now and this allows me to choose my region. Now we have plethora of regions to choose from but I generally recommend no matter which one you're from to select one that is specifically European Union as European Union has been very based when it comes down to consumer rights and forcing companies to basically fix some of their shady ways of uh, uh, trying to monopolize on how the system works. So this will basically force uh, Xiaomi or Google uh, as an Android OS uh, to abide by European Union laws. Considering you select that region it would assume that you're from that region and uh, therefore it's supposed to abide by them. So anyway, I'm just gonna click on whatever right here, but like I said, choose probably something that is European Union specific. Next we have terms and conditions like user agreement and the privacy policy. You can tap on either one of those two and read exactly what you are agreeing to, but if you're like most of us, you're going to never read a single word of that and uh, just select that, yeah, I have read and agreed to the terms of service and we can go to the next page. This allows us to import data from through a Google account by signing into it. Now it tells you that you can basically copy it, but in reality, it's not really copying it. It's all cloud-based, so it just re-downloads it all from the cloud. I'm gonna skipping this. Next we have connect to network. This is optional as long as you don't need to verify your device, which if it's new, you should not be, uh, you should not have to do that. I'll be skipping this. Next we have set screen lock. We have a screen lock as in pin pattern or password and face recognition. If you're planning to use face, you also need a screen lock as biometrics aren't 100% reliable or you just don't protect your device at all. Though it's something that I wouldn't recommend, it does usually store your personal data, so it might be better for you to protect it. Next we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now you can turn all of those off, but it's from Google. Let's not kid ourselves and, and think that turning that off will stop Google from gathering data. If it did, they wouldn't be in antitrust lawsuits. So I would or like look at this like a general uh, request from you to Google to not send your user and diagnostic data or basically personal data to them and Google just looking at this request being like huh, well think about it um, one second later you know what no we're done uh, we're still gonna do it that's kind of how I look at it so if you're looking for something that is super private and stuff like that you might not be interested in Android in general it's not like this is a privacy-based operating system. Um, so just now we can turn those off, but they probably don't have much effect. Moving on, we have uh, getting your tablet ready and this gives us some basic settings like, again, location, automatic system updates, uh, sending user and diagnostic data. Now these sound like something that we have just done, but these are now from Xiaomi. So again, I would say same thing applies here. I can turn all of those off if you want to. I'm gonna focus on one that is the most annoying here, which is the personalized ads right here. And this is basically a setting that, uh, that just straight up spies on you and then gives you ads based on uh, what you talk about or what you search for. If it sounds creepy, that's, that's because it is creepy. And this option shouldn't even exist in my opinion. Now, I also want to point out one thing. So I can turn all of those off, no problem, but God forbid I try to turn this trash off and it gives me the pop-up that I am basically trying to turn off this majestic, fantastic uh, magnum opus of a feature here. And then they use reverse psychology for the turn off, which is on the other side, which is usually a disagree. No, I want to confirm that I'm turning this off. So why is it on the other side? That's not how Android usually works. So anyway, once you turn that off, which I do recommend turning that off, we can go to the bottom and then move on to the next page. Turn on parental control, that's completely up to you. Next we have fonts, choose whichever one you like more. 
gestures. Uh, there's nothing for you to choose from. It just tells you that how to use gestures. And that finishes up the setup. Uh, although it's preparing the system. Let's give it a second. Click on continue. And there we go. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.